Spilt my uh, pre-workout on my desk, Cardinal Sin. We're gonna start it up. I got Matt over there in the weight room waiting for me. You guys shoot us some questions. I'm gonna get after it on this workout. Today I'm gonna do upper body strength and a little bit of lower body accessories. So it's a full body workout. You guys know that I've been uh, rehabbing, I guess you would say, my knee from the surgery. So I have some accessory work I have to do. And then uh, I'm also gonna do some, uh, some upper body strength work. So let's get after it, all right? Make sure you drop the questions. DP's gonna read them to me. I'll try to answer them all. Again, I am training, so again, bear with me and uh, we'll make it happen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Say so, what's up, Leo? Hey. Follow along, follow along. Carlos Prado says, Congrats on Trainer of the Year. Possible to cut twenty five pounds from one seventy at five nine height. Ability. Controlling articular rotations have always been good. Try tractioning out the length of band. Um, I get to do. Uh, with our Wi-Fi. It is a little laggy work with us, please. And we're back at it. Keep the questions coming, fellas. Yeah, David Lee, they're just warming up right now. Yo, so to answer your question about the ankle mobility, look up controlled articular rotations or ankle cars, and then look up tractioning the ankle too as well. Um, that's definitely going to help with dorsiflexion, and that's primarily what a lot of people are lacking is dorsiflexion, the ability to flex the ankle and also propel. So, again, getting into that range where the toes come up to the shin is going to help you, but also making sure that you can get in those end ranges and be strong in those end ranges. So look up controlled articular rotations and look up ankle pales and rails, right? Progressive and regressive angular isometrics. And there we go. We are live at the Daru Strong Performance. The Daru Performance Center, we're here. Heaven Earth wants to know. Hey Phil, Heaven Earth wants to know what's the plan for today, guys. What you doing? Hey, 
Sensei says, hey, Coach Phil, congrats on Coach of the Year. Well deserved. Now the uh, reception keeps going in and out. Yeah. Austin Lambert wants to know what uh, what are your upper back exercises? I guess good to do. All right. So first, let me answer one of the questions. We are gonna hit uh, reps on the bench today. It's more of like a strength endurance day. Hypertrophy day uh, for Matt. He's gonna be doing set to five. I'm probably gonna go with set to eight um, because again, I am on a hypertrophy type block, you would say. And then uh, after that, we're gonna do some accessories for the legs. And then uh, after that, I'll do some conditioning. Matt's not gonna do any conditioning. <laughs> so, make sure you guys uh, like the stream. Hit that like button. Share. Also for my back, um, I do like seal rows. Honestly, I like. Bent over rows, barbell, dumbbell. I like kettlebell. I also like kettlebell. Uh, believe it or not, kettlebell swings will help build up your back too, as well, especially your upper back. And then inverted rows too, as well, for the bench. Um, it kind of mimics the bench from the, from the top down approach. So those are a few of what I like. Maisie Mayhem says, Feel the legend. Mr. Mike says, hey, Phil, you have amazing programs. Do you rec what do you recommend for guys who are over 400 pounds and are now trying to learn their bodies again? I lost 240 pounds this year, and I've been using your video. You know, making sure that you have your calories on point. I would say make sure that you're not in a, you're in a calorie deficit, per se. A little bit of conditioning goes a long way, so going for... 30 minutes, even an hour walks a day will definitely help jumpstart that. And then as far as your strength training goes, man, just keep it simple. Linear progressions, you don't have to go crazy. Um, as far as programming goes, I mean, you can check out something like body armor would be great for you because um, it is body weight and it'll allow you to get proprioception, it'll allow you to get coordination. It'll give you the basis of understanding your body and also give you some strength there to build up to working with resistance training. And then once you get to the weights per se, then you just want to make sure that you're gaining optimal strength, right? So doing sets and reps in a hypertrophy zone of like six to 12 repetitions will be fine. And doing that, you know, that conditioning in a lower aerobic zone will help burn the calories that you need. And then from there, you can do some, uh, after that, once you feel comfortable, you can start doing more prowler sprints. And that's going to be more high intensity intervals. But wait on that until you feel comfortable with your weight. The weight gets down a little bit more so that you can sprint and move without hurting your joints. Greetings from Brazil. Hit that like button, fellas. Mr. Mike says my conditioning and diet is on point. Yeah. I'm using I'm using a lot of your MMA style kettlebell workouts. I'm pretty fit right now. I'm having issues with mobility. So check out some of my videos now that I have on YouTube. Uh, I have uh, if you look up Phil Deru or search Phil Deru mobility, you'll see a bunch of different things there. Look up controlled articular rotations. Look up pails and rails. And then as far as like 
you know, gaining optimal range. Make sure you're working through your optimal range of motion that you have. So check out those videos on YouTube. And then also I have programs out too as well uh, for the mobility. So the mobility actually will be, it's a six week long program. So that'll definitely help too. All right. Greetings from the Netherlands. Greetings, greetings. We're down here. We are in sunny South Florida. At the Daru Performance Center. Sensei, I dislocated my knee years ago. And I didn't tear anything. Thank God, I just stretched my tendons. I wanted to know what exercises I could do without weights. Yes, this is winter time, Joe Blow in Florida. This is our winter time right now. All right, fellas, make sure you keep hitting that like button, keep hitting that share, like and share. Make sure you guys check out the uh, transformation challenge. Head over to derustrong.com. All programs are 50% off. Keep going, Mike. You got this, Mike. You guys can check out all our videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. See the form. <laughs> oh, you funny. We got a hey, Brett. We are located in Boca Raton, Florida. Right off 95 of Congress. Hey Phil, do you have any recommendation papers for power for power movements and boxing performance, especially in improvement of impulse? Um, as far as power movements and reaction timing. There's a bunch of different videos that you could do. I would also go off of a cue, um, like a, a visual cue, but med ball throws, landmine tosses, all that stuff would be appropriate. Yes, sir, Brett. We are on the east coast of Florida, way at the bottom, located in West Palm, West Palm Beach. Robert Gonzalez wants to know do you Oh, you're serious about, wait. Wait. 
<laughs> I don't I don't think that's something that I'll uh I'll ask him. Uh WWE lovers, I don't know about that. Hey Matthew P, we actually have some boxing videos that you can check out uh on our page if you go ahead and just subscribe scroll down type in anything with phil and boxing and you'll definitely see something yo for rugby though for off season you want to build a base of strength first because again off season the goal right there is to build general physical preparedness so doing more hypertrophy type style work more strength endurance keeping your rep ranges in five six and even eight building up some muscle mass so that you can build some armor on your body and then also from a conditioning standpoint, you always want to make sure that you're doing some type of aerobic capacity work or just aerobic work in general. You would do that on the off times of your weight training, but for the most part, building up the posterior chain and also working in those volume zones are definitely going to give you a base of strength getting closer into the season. Nice. Anything on her, man, I keep shoulder blades down and pinch okay brett h we actually have a video about uh the perfect bench press form we actually have that on our page already so go ahead and check that out hi phil fan from india any words about five by five Jason Blah Blaha program? Five by five or what? Jason Blaha Pro. We, we don't know. We don't know him, Muscle Factory. We don't know that guy. Sorry. Ritik Barik says, hello, Phil. I'm sorry if I'm butchering you guys' names. But make sure you keep hitting that like button. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, share. Hit that like button. What's going on, Stylin? So, Phil, Audra Cummings would like to know, where do we submit our before picks for the transformation contest? Go ahead and hit up the support team, DaruStrongHelp at gmail.com, and they'll direct you to where you need to go. There we go. Hey, Phil, are you planning to do a program for kickboxing, Muay Thai? I'm competing in full contact karate, and I already have ground control, heavy hitter, and fight ready. Nice, Linus. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely in the works, for sure. I definitely want to do it. Um, I do have a regular technique on my website for Muay Thai, so check that out. But yeah, in the future, for sure, definitely. Love from India. Love from Florida. Love from sunny... He's South Florida. You guys check this out. We're in the back. Look at this beautiful weather. Beautiful weather down here in South Florida. You make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Maybe the workout would look even better. I'm sure it would. <laughs> I'm sure it would, WWE lovers. <laughs> Love from Iran. Iran says, what's up, Phil? What's up, guys? Man, I miss Florida. 
finna move to say see i know you're from florida because you use the word finna mike that is a that is a southern word atl in the house atl yo ask matt some questions he's here too you guys got any questions for matt gorilla bench all right and we have phil off somewhere here we go if you guys have any any questions for matt we also have katie here katie who are you and what do you do i'm a sport performance lmt here all right i deal with all these guys their injuries or recovery anything that's bothering them we get them right to get them back in the um in the gym or in the gym. and where could they find you well my instagram is katie holman lmt you can find me on there you can reach out to phil Come follow me. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. And Phil will be right back. Do you guys recommend kickboxing? I got Tim here. Tell me about Phil, the 5x5 five five workout, Love from India. Uh, We don't really know about the 5x5 five five method. I guess they don't know about the... The guy, Katie, some recovery advice regarding ice baths and the controversy behind them. So ice baths are good um, in terms of ice in general. There's no injury. You only really want to use ice if you need immediate relief, right? So that'd be during a fight, during sparring. Other than that, you probably want to put some heat on it because that's going to allow the good inflammation in the body and for everything to come in and flush out. Constantly icing it, not icing it, you're pausing it, letting it recover. Pausing it, letting it recover. Ice baths, 100%. Um, we have a lot of the guys do them uh, after workouts. We also do some contrast therapy. So, you know, hitting the ice tub and then hitting the sauna or a hot bath back and forth for about three rounds. Highly recommend it. Nice, nice, nice. And here comes Sir Phil DeRue. He's back. He's back. Greetings from Chile. Chile, what's going on, mate? Hey, Phil, they want you to predict UFC 246. UFC 246. But I guess you know the fight that they're talking about because the McGregors are in that. Hey, Linus, if you go on the page, we actually have plenty of videos with Phil doing uh, different jujitsu, working with jujitsu, and all the MMA guys. Plenty of warm ups on there. Austin, I'll let him know that you said thank you. Phil, Black Gold would like to know. <laughs> they try this. Sabim Nim TV. No, this is him with the iPhone 3 and 3G network, sir. <laughs> I like that, though. Our Wi-Fi is fucking up, and I'm actually using the. Uh, uh oh. Yes, Phil is looking pretty huge right now. Um, flex on him, Sir Phil. Uh. <laughs> Katie, they say thank you. And what's up?
So what are you guys working on right now, Phil? They want to know. So we're going to rip foot elevator, split squat. What I'm trying to do right here is I'm setting my, my shin angle up in early gate stance. We're trying to work more on the anterior glute med, working on the hamstring, and I'm going ipsilateral because I do want to push more on the outer part of my leg there, get that lateral, vastus lateralis, that lateral head of the quad, right? And then for him, for, for Matt, since he's so used to pushing out, I'm going to try to get him set in a different tripod position and he's gra grabbing the ground through that first and second metatarsal. So I actually want him to pronate a little bit so that he can get more range there in his dorsiflexion, but also he can hit the muscles that he doesn't really hit because he is a power lifter and a lot of his force is going to be distributed laterally. So we want to go ahead and we want to counteract that and work on his body functionally from a full spectrum. Nice. Netherlands, greetings from the Netherlands. My man, Vikings. If you look over here, you see Phil working on his sleeve. It's coming in really nice. going on guys make sure you like subscribe and share smash that like button let's go run these numbers up hey muscle factory we actually have a video uh Hey Phil, what was what's the track guy's name? John Garrish. John Garrish. Yep. John Garrish. We actually have a video on the page. John Garrish, go check that out. Where we did we uh, detail everything having to do with running. Well, not everything. Don't let me say that. But we have a, we have a nice video on running patterns. strong dude he's squatted over 700 pounds the guy is a, a great power lifter but he creates torque in external rotation and lateral force displacement so he's so used to externally rotating that hip so now what we're trying to do is counterbalance that and get him like i said more into pronation so that his shin angle his knee is all in line as he goes down usually what you would want to do in a squat is almost produce so much torque that the knees go outside, or you say that track outside the big toe. But we're not trying to do that right now. Also, I had four ACL reconstructions, so neuromuscularly on the left side. No matter what I do, no matter how much I train it unilaterally, it dies all the time. So it doesn't contract. I'll wake up in the morning and I can't get a quad contraction or hamstring. And I've done everything you can think of. So it's just, I think the trauma from the surgeries over and over and over on the same leg, um, it's definitely makes stuff like this super challenging. That's why I go to Phil for that stuff because I won't do it because I get frustrated and lazy and he keeps on my ass. So coaches be coaches. Jesse Lee says, love everything you put out, man. A part of the mentorship program, have purchased body armor, heavy hitter, fight ready, and train heroic. Thanks for all the help and support. Man, thank you. Thank you, Jesse Lee. We love you. We appreciate you. And I hope you're getting everything out of the program. If you guys haven't, make sure you head over to DeRueStrong.com. Click the link. All the programs are currently 50% off. 50% off all the programs currently. Hit that. Enter for a chance to uh, win this transformation challenge. How much money can they win, Phil? Win up to five grand. My own money. Take my money, y'all. Up to five thousand dollars for the first place winner of the transformation challenge. Fifteen hundred dollars for the second place winner, and five hundred dollars for the third place winner. So make sure you guys head over there, buy one of those programs at fifty percent off. We have the body armor. We have heavy hitter. We have fight ready. And if you're interested in becoming one of the elite coaches. 
I would recommend the mentorship. Matthew P, I just started a heavy hitter program. It's great, worth it 100%. That's great, Matthew P. Keep it working. Hattie, we actually have the program. If you go over, we have, have the body armor program. That is a eight-week body weight only program that you can actually do from the house. Austin Lambert would like to know mental preparation for MMA athletes during camp and fight week. Well, getting in a particular position, a bad position, is definitely going to help you. Working out of those bad positions, all right, doing the particular time frames of the fight is also going also to help you. And then, again, sparring, it's very hard to mimic a true competition, but if you can get somebody who puts it on you in sparring, and then you have really no room to breathe. The goal right there is for you to get mentally tough at that, at that particular time. And also be able to be technical even when you're fatigued. So make sure your training is as hard, if not harder, than your fight. It's very hard to do because of outside influences. But at the end of the day, if you can do that, mentally you'll be ready. And also physical, physiologically you'll be ready. Nice. Stars from Russia. We are in sunny South Florida. We are in Boca Raton, Florida at the Daru Performance Center. Yes, yes, yes. Love from Russia. Robbo says, Phil has the best YouTube page. Work with some, some up and coming strong men and unleash the power. Let's go, Robbo. You see the power right here. Look at this. If you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't know, Phil just had an ACL surgery. If you look closely, you can still see the scars right there. And he's about 16 weeks out from the surgery, from the ACL surgery. Looking strong. Look at him. <laughs> if y'all don't know, that's my brother behind the camera. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that. Looks like fun. Cold in Toronto. Woo! Here, we'll bring you some love. We'll bring you some love all the way down here at South Florida at the Daru Performance Center. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Share. Smash that like button. Let's go. Here we go. Yes, yes. Jolly, jolly. You are very welcome. Okay. Uh, Black Gold says, Sir, I got a shin bruise after sparring. Can you give some tips? It pain like... It's pain like... Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Black Gold. <laughs> Athletic CBD. Athletic CBD. Athletic CBD and Arnica. And Arnica. And that shit together. Can't they use... Don't you have a, a, a discount code? Use the root. What is it just the root strong or the root? Just the root. So head over to Athletic CBD. Use the discount code the root. Um, it will help you out with that black gold. All right. Yes, yes. We got it. Wrestling shot drills. I'm trying to be a beast wrestling, and I feel slow shooting. Help! Yeah, so acceleration drills are going to be important. Um, if you ever watch any of the YouTube videos that I have, those short sprint intervals, those short sprint drills, off of a single leg or off of a kneeling position, um, and also getting your knees. You see how we have that negative shin angle? Here, you want to get into a positive shin angle. And work in these zones here. So again, when you shoot, if you're going to deep, going into it like a deep single or going in for a double, you want that knee to track far over the toe there and then explode up out of there. Work in zones 
that are going to be conducive for explosive power. So you don't need any weight. You can just do body weight or very light weight, roughly 20 to 30 percent. And you're going to do sets of five, maybe even threes. But you're going to be as explosive as possible in that range. So get that shin angle to where you need to, and then explode out of the hole. Do that about two to three times per week. Make sure you get an adequate time to rest in between. All right. What is punda punda punda? What is that? I feel like I just said something. Andy is in the house. <laughs> we got Andy in the house. What's the rule mean in India? In I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. I don't know. Is it Indian? India? Stay safe, guys. We are staying safe. We are the safest in the country down here in South Florida. Yeah. Yes, yes. And if you look at them, check out that form. You guys can be elite coaches as well. You can check out the Daru Strong mentorship program at DaruStrong.com. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back live. Make sure you guys hit that. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. We have plenty of videos on strength and conditioning with the best strength and conditioning coach in the world who just happened to win another award, if you guys didn't know that. Austin Lambert says, get the mentorship program worth every cent, people. I can't wait to fight again and learn Phil's program skills. Let's go. Let's go, Austin Lambert. You're learning from the most elite strength and conditioning coach in the world, Phil DeRue. Leo, y'all. Hey, Phil. Uh, Brett Higgins wants to know: Are your programs only for fighters? No, no, not at, actually. Most of the programs are for the general public that want to train like fighters. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I mean, it's catered towards the fight game. But you can train and get results with it, no matter what. No matter what. So, Brett, I hope that answers your question. We actually have the uh, body armor program. It's an eight-week body-only program that you can do strictly from the house. Uh, it's actually half off currently, so go ahead, click on that, and enter for your chance to win $5,000 in the Transformation Challenge. Phil, John Blake wants to know what's the duration of coaching? What's the duration? All right, we are back. We are back. Sorry for the lag, guys. Sorry for the lag. Check this out. Yes, this is live. This is live. Down here in sunny South Florida. Keep the questions coming. Make sure you subscribe. Share the channel. Smash that like button. Let's go. Let's go. Thing we have for you guys over there. 
If you guys are in any pain, make sure you go to athleticcbd.com. Use the discount code DERU. Yes, yes. Currently taking a break. All right. What's better for strong legs using heavy weights or doing explosive movements or both? What? Sensei Rios wants to know what's better for strong legs using heavy weights or doing explosive movements or both? All right, all right, all right, all right. Every time I walk past this bag right here, then uh, everything is lagging. So we're gonna try to check out the strongest MMA fighter Phil has worked with. Well, let's wait till he gets off his set. Here we go. All right. So Phil, Black Gold would like to know who's the strongest MMA fighter you've worked with? So to answer your question, it's either gonna be it's either gonna be Desmond Moore, who you guys seen, M80, um, pound for pound, and then Whip Brooks was really strong too as well. Um, from an athletic standpoint, remember they're athletes that lift; they're not lifters. So from from a pound for pound standpoint, and then from just a fighter standpoint, I, I believe you know those guys being the strongest that I've been able to coach. Okay. And Sensei, to answer your question, he said both. He said both, Sensei. Yeah, so you want to develop maximal strength, right? The formula for power, right, is force times velocity. So I'm going to increase force with maximal strength. Lifts, and I'm going to increase velocity with explosive power movements. So you combine those two, and you'll be able to get strong power for a lower body to enhance your striking, to enhance your takedowns, whatever the case may be. All right. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Yes, Daru does work with the WEC method. We have plenty of videos when he's doing the uh, the landmine presses. Make sure you check it out on our page. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Live from South Florida. Live, live, live from South Florida here. Let me... Sir, the man behind the camera, what job you doing? I am actually the one who makes all the videos for the page. So all the videos that you see on the YouTube page, that is my editing and my shooting. Yes, yes, yes. To answer your question, Black Gold. So my job is to make sure that Phil looks the greatest that he can him being the best strength and conditioning coach in the world yes i do have a great job phil not andrew wants to know is steffi cohen going to fight what's the deal been picking up hints steffi just wants to do something different man I mean, she's been dominant in powerlifting all, all pretty much her entire what, past decade, I guess. She just wants to do something different. She wants to train more athletically, change it up a bit. She wants to take a fight. She could actually, you know, she is training pretty hard for it. 
but I don't think she's gonna. I mean, who knows? She may take a, make a run for it for real, but I know she wants to do a couple of uh, what we call white collar fights, and then we'll see what happens after that. Peter, you know what we think about the fight over here, Peter? Diamonds are forever. And Hope, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, and Hope. We work very hard as a team to make sure we put out the best content possible for you guys. Love from Brazil! Brazil! We gotta get down to Brazil. We love Brazil. Dustin is gonna win. Yes, that's how we that's how that's what we feel around here. Ha <laughs> You gonna win some money regardless. Nah, Andrew. Put your money on him. Uh, Mr. Casper, BJ, we actually have the uh, body armor program, the eight week body armor, eight week body weight only program that you can check out on the DeRueStrong.com website. All programs are currently 50% off. Yes, you heard that right. 50% off. And once you buy, you enter for a chance to win the transformation challenge where you can win up to $5,000 of Phil's money. Get some of that money. Ronan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I aspire to. Daru, love from Bangladesh. Yes, yes, yes. Bangladesh. We love you. Get us out there to Bangladesh. We love you guys out there in India. We'd love to come visit. Show you guys some methods. Heaven Earth, what is the question that you have about the challenge? How you can win the $5,000? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there we go. He's on the landmine. There we go. We were just talking about this. You see him? You see him over there? Phil's program was incredible. Yes, it was incredible. Yes coming from the best strength and conditioning coach in the world, in the land. Make sure you guys, if you want to be an elite coach like Phil DeRue, sign up for the mentorship. Yes, it is half off. How y'all know if the picture is taken prior or not like two years old or something? Because you will have to hold up a piece of paper well, actually, that is a good question. But I'm assuming, and don't take my word for this because I'm just the guy behind the camera. But I would assume that we would uh, have you guys hold up a, a, a piece of paper with the date on it, I guess. You know, and, and honesty. Is that still a thing in the world? Power from Sweden. We got love from Sweden. Yes, Sweden. Check us out. South Florida, this is real time, real time, sunny, beautiful weather. Yes, at the Daru Performance Center with, with uh, our fearless leader, Phil Daru. Greetings from Spain. Spain, what's going on? We love you, Spain. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash that like button. Share this stream. Let's go. Keep killing it from Cali. Hey, Phil, how to increase fight reflexes individually? I already have the heavy hitter program. Let's go, Mr. Casper. 
Cool. That's conditioning. Yeah, you're right. So <laughs> reaction timing. Um, check out some stuff that I've done with Mr. Mental Muscle, uh, Nick Davenport. With Mind Body Warrants. He did a, a bunch of things with the fighters there. Again, you wanna with reaction timing and any type of agility, you wanna go off of the outside <laughs> stimulus. So anything from a visual stimulus to a an auditory stimulus, we wanna go ahead and we wanna react to that particular movement or, or whatever sound you're hearing. And then again, you can make it as specific as possible. Maybe throwing one, two, maybe throwing a sidekick, whatever the case. But you want to do that, and that's what's really going to enhance the overall ability to react. Um, and then you also, you can work on agility movements or acceleration agility movements, where you're going to be accelerating through a particular range of motion that is, again, going to correlate over to the sport. Yes, heaven, earth, people are, are sneaky. You are correct. What up from Canada? Hamilton, Ontario. Chilling Canada. Yes, this is for you, Canada. We got you. Look at the sun glistening off them. Just look at them. Look at the sun. I love it, man. <laughs> look at I love the sun. The sun shining on them. Like yeah. Look at them. Like Check them out. Let's go, baby. Yes. Let's go. This is how you become an elite coach. Elite. Well, he's never really I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is worth a four-hour drive, no problem. <laughs> oh, My man drove four hours. Man. Yes. Four hours just to be around greatness. Phil. Just to be at Albuquerque, New Mexico. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. No, Daniel Villa. We don't worry about that. We focus on positivity over here. Growth and development. Will Phil be uploading new videos with the diamond? More power to you guys. Appreciate all your love and work. Uh, be on our lookout, man. Dustin's gonna come through for a podcast, possibly. So we'll do a podcast. Check out my podcast channel, The Root Strong Podcast, on YouTube. You guys go on Twitter, tell Dustin to do the podcast. Go at Dustin. Tell him to get on the Daru Strong podcast. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to the Daru Strong podcast, make sure you head over there and go do that. We have a lot of great stuff over there for the coaches. I understand, Vanilla. I know it's lagging a little bit. You're going to have to work with this, baby. Our Wi-Fi is currently messing up, and every time I step a little bit closer... It, uh, yeah, it messes up. Like to do the mentorship program. You guys are legit as fuck. Um, here we go. Bruno, yes. Thank you, Dave Baker, Barker, excuse me. <laughs> a few? Which is more than two? Which is a couple? So. <laughs> the ruse power is disturbing the Wi Fi. That's why it's lagging. Yes. It's too strong. Yeah, man. Yo, I apologize, guys. I'm going to get an external Wi Fi soon. It's been an issue because if you look around, we're in a business center, so everybody's doing something using up the Wi Fi. So. I do not know, Justine, where all the salt and shade is coming from, but we love him. It's okay. Love what you do. Congrats on winning the award. Greetings from Belgium. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Belgium. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you haven't done so yet. Smash the like button. Um, I 
Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Check them out. We are live from the Daru Performance Center. Check them out. 16 weeks out from the ACL meniscus tear. Looking very strong. Looking very strong. I think we're wrapping up the workout. Wrapping everything up. Any more questions? Jesse Lee wants to know, any biomechanical movement books? I'm needing help understanding what to look for as in muscle imbalances during assessments. Uh, check out Pat Davidson's new book out. I forgot the name of it, but he has it on his IG. So Dr. Pat Davidson, it's a good one. I'm going through it now. There we go, Jesse Lee. This is the book that Phil's currently reading. I hope you got that. Where are you guys at? Is that hot over there in December? We are in Boca Raton, Florida. We are in sunny South Florida. It is beautiful here. About to put some work in. About to do some work out myself now gotta leave more power to y'all you're the man cameraman justine romero thank you appreciate it have a great day phil how do you do sets how do you determine the rest time between sets how do you determine the rest time between sets really it goes for me since i've been training for shit almost 15 years now I really just go by feel. But if you want to go from a general perspective, if you're doing more hypertrophy work, usually you want to go about 45, maybe 90 seconds at the most. Strength work, you're going to do about two to five minutes. And then in power work, you want to do about two to five minutes. So, But then again, it really depends on the person. If I'm working with him, we're going back and forth. So my rest is his go, his rest is my go. And since we've been training for a fucking very long time, we know how to pace ourselves, but get the most out of the training session for the time that we have. We're both coaches and we're both gym owners. Mm -hmm. So for us, we had to develop more endurance to get through the, to the workout faster, but still stay strong. Yes. Until we start talking shit. Then it's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, then it goes a little bit longer than we're supposed thing. to. It's a different thing. Best exercises to strengthen quads after a um, padded to lead on? What's that? I'm so, oh, uh, Pat. Pat. What's, what's that? That's patella tendon. Oh, patella tendon. Excuse me. Patella tendon ACL replacement. For me, so every time I tore my ACL, I approached the rehab a little bit differently. This last time was my most successful rehab. And every time that I tore it, it wasn't lifting. It was doing it was ice hockey or something else. So, um, but this time I focused on keeping my quad as strong as I could right up until the surgery and making sure the hamstring uh, maintained as much strength and endurance as it could to stabilize the knee. So right after surgery. Uh, it's all love. It's all love. It's all. Am I done with this? All right, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. So, so yeah, so the neuromuscular the unit uh, post, post surgery atrophy was huge uh, for the last rehab, and then I mean, last time, so I squatted, which was the fastest I'd ever come back um, for the quad post surgery, and making sure that the hamstring was uh, strong enough to stabilize the knee after it. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Yes, NYC, I see you in the house. We see you. We love you, New York. Wishing the team a blessed new year from Chicago where the weather grows strong. Constitutions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's kind of, we're going to see. All right, you guys, I'm about to walk inside. So hopefully it doesn't start lagging again like it's been doing. I know. Hopefully it doesn't shut off. 
But let's go. The roof's strong. That's right. Here we go. We're going to walk inside. Oh. oh. Work with me. If it, all right, all right, all right. Huh. Prowler, prowler, prowler. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Smash that like button. Share, subscribe. We're in the condition. What's up, top movies in Tunisia? We see you, Tunisia. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year. I follow your workouts. My 60-year-old son is in MMA. Do more of these live sessions real time. Thank you, camera bro. You guys stay healthy, stay safe. Food is medicine, yes. So you guys be on the lookout. If you haven't subscribed to the Daru Strong channel, do that. Also follow him on Instagram. Instagram at Daru Strong, Twitter at Daru Strong. Head over to DaruStrong.com where we have all of our programs for 50% off 50% off yes 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 enter for a chance to win five thousand dollars of phil's money let's go Ugh. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Top movies. We will have better quality next time. We're currently going through a situation with our Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi is acting up, so I had to get on the, uh, the network. It knows not a 3G network. We are 5G, but it's not acting like 5G right now. But it's okay. Green. Hit that notification. We'll try to do lives either once or twice a week. Let me know.